Welcome back in studio, everyone. I'm Bobby Broyles, along with Rob Washburn for the postseason edition of CA Hoops Weekly, presented by Under Armour. The brackets are out, Rob, and the College of Charleston is heading out west to San Diego in the Med Midwest Regional as a 13th seed to take on the number four seed Auburn Tigers Friday night on True TV. Yeah, about as good a draw as you could have hoped for. The 13th yep. seed allows you to avoid an opponent ranked in the top 10 nationally. It's a seed that's been good to CA in its history as mm -hmm. the league's three and three all time in its first round games as a 13th seed, and the Tigers are making their first NCAA tournament appearance since 2013. So it's not a team with a lot of postseason experience in contrast to other first round CA opponents in the past few years like Duke, Virginia, Notre Dame, yep. and Michigan State. Now, all that being said, Auburn's a very formidable team with 25 victories and a squad that won the regular season championship in the SEC. However, the Tigers lost four of their final six games, including a second half beating at the hands of Alabama in the quarterfinals of the SEC tournament. Now, Charleston's making its first NCAA appearance since 1999, so the Cougars don't have any NCAA tournament experience either. But Charleston is riding the momentum from its amazing 17-point comeback in the second half of the CAA title game. They have a veteran group that went through the experience of an NIT road game a year ago, and they come into the contest having lost just once since January the 13th. The Cougars definitely have what it takes to get a victory in this one. Looking at this matchup, Rob, what will be the keys for the Cougars if they are to pull off an upset in advance to the round of 32? Yeah, first off, Auburn's one of the top offensive teams in the country, averaging better than 83 points per game. They don't shoot it at a high percentage, but they set a school record for threes this season, and they get to the line where they lead the nation with 610 made free throws. The Tigers' best players are in the backcourt. Bryce Brown averages 16 points per game and hit 101 threes, and point guard Jared Harper adds 14 points and 6 assists per contest. Both of those guys made the All-SEC all second team. Another guard, Mustafa Heron, is the team's leading scorer. Now, the Tigers aren't real big with only one starter over 6'5". So from a personnel standpoint, Charleston is nearly a mirror image. The Cougars are also led by their backcourt duo of Joe Chile and Grant Riller, who both average better than 20 points per game in the CAA tournament. Cam Johnson's a defensive stopper, and we saw what a huge lift Marquise Pointer provided off the bench. Inside, Jarrell Brantley recorded three consecutive double-doubles in the tournament, and hopefully the week off has allowed Nick Harris to get closer to 100%. Now, Earl Grant has said over and over that for Charleston to be a championship team, it needs to lock in and defend at a championship level. That will have to happen on Friday for the Cougars to have a chance against Auburn. Now, if you want one stat to watch for, keep an eye on turnovers. Auburn's one of the best in the nation at forcing them at 15 per game, while Charleston's fourth nationally not making them with less than 10 per contest. It's critical that the Cougars take care of the ball. CASports.com will have all the information you need regarding links to live stats, video, and audio coverage of this game. Yet, yeah, you can also continue to follow the league's postseason coverage on Facebook and Instagram by searching CA Sports. We're also on Twitter, at CA Basketball, using the hashtag CA Hoops. That is it from us today. Good luck to the Cougars.